Hello everyone. This is a. I'm going to show you guys how to unlock a radio without going to GM or programming anything. Sometimes this happens when you replace the VCM, body control module. So I'm gonna. I'm going to show you how to replace this, even though I'm one-handed because I, I just have to do it with one hand. As you can see, the radio is locked and it's blinking, locked, 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 locked. It's not blinking actually, it's just camera mechanism, it's blinking. It's just solid, it stays locked. So, what I'm going to show you how you can unlock this radio without programming anything. So, I'm one hand and I have to just do it with the one hand, just stay tuned. So, I just replaced the BCM, put an EBC BCM from another vehicle. Even though the BCM is not completely programmed, then again, you can unlock the radio. So what I did, I'm just gonna have to open these up. Ah, well, it's difficult with one hand. Okay, it's gonna have a damage here. Okay, it's all good. Okay, once you unlock this, take the other side, here is the radio is on, the the, uh, the car is up and running, okay, you need to remove the screws, remove the screws, the radio still says locked, as you can see, remove this, and then you remove the second screw here. Just keep watching how the cable happens. Radio connector down here. Uh, let's disconnect that one first, and that one second, and then when you reconnect, it's just gonna connect back the same way. And you'll see the changes. Okay, connected. And that one is connected and the CD came out. Just pull the CD back in and see what happens. It's still locked. Okay, one more time again. Okay, disconnect this one first. Second, okay, connect this back on. Connect that back on. Okay, still locked. Let me give me a second here. One more time. Connect the right one first. Okay. Okay, then connect the second one here. Okay, the radio is out. The CD is out. Okay. Let's 
it's locked again. Okay. Turn the lid off. Put the door out. Close the door in. On. It's locked. Okay. As you can see, the radio is successfully programmed. So when you turn it on, it must be playing. Right there. So, see, you just disconnect the, uh, reduce this, just disconnect the, uh, you just disconnect the uh, connectors from the back a couple of times and try to figure it out and then when you connect disconnect and put it back put the put the two connectors back and then turn the car off and on and this is how you program your radio that says locked so hopefully this can help somebody you just have to play around with it, and um, I don't think that you need anything to progress. So, we go to a bunch of shows this summer, but the budget's a little bit tight right now with how expensive everything has gotten. Nothing to worry about. You can get some $20 tickets right now through Live Nation. See, so there is a bit of a catch. You have to buy how four you... tickets, but... Program. Taxes, the fees, reason why in, it's only going to cost you 80 bucks. It's their summer's live promotion. A bunch of really big shows involved in this too. There's so the reason why I uh, I removed the BCM and replaced BCM with different BCM. So that's what causes the radio to lock. So if you have a locked radio like from GM vehicle, whether it's the original one, whether it's aftermarket one, whether it's from removed from another vehicle, you can absolutely do it this way, the way I did it, and the radio will work. The radio is working perfectly fine. It's the same radio that I was saying is locked that showed you. You just have to uh, kind of play around with it and uh, disconnect, reconnect and turn the ignition on and off exactly I already did it, this is the second time because uh, I had a bad BCM on the radio uh, on the car so I uh, I got this one from Junkyard and I installed it well, the BCM still needs to be programmed because uh, some functions in the car don't work still. The rear uh, lift gate don't work. I can't even open the, the, the rear door. But the passenger side, rear passenger side, driver passenger side, and front driver side and passenger side doors are working. But still to be programmed with this BCM but for some reason if your radio is broken or your original radio is not working on your car and you decide to get another radio to install on your vehicle this is how you do it you don't have to call anyone and go to GM or it's a simple thing you just disconnect turn the vehicle off and on and your radio is up and running as you can see there was no question in it you know I was like oh my god what I'm gonna do my, my radio is locked 
well buddy this is how you fix i hope this this video can help anyone someone out there thank you so much thank you for watching